hello welcome back to the another part of the video in the last part of the video we have discussed about what is rna what are the different types of rna and what is the properties of each different type of rna in this video we will be discussing about a very important process called as transcription this is the first part of the video in which we will be discussing about transcription in prokaryotes okay so what is transcription and what are its property and how the process of transcription takes place in a prokaryotes we will see let's begin before understanding the transcription process we need to understand why the transcription process takes place so what is transcription transcription is need is a process in which synthesis of mrna takes place from the dna why the synthesis of mrna is needed because in the last part of the video we have uh, studied that mrna is known as the messenger rna it transforms the message from the dna to the ribosomes for the protein synthesis as the proteins are very much essential for our body and our activity cellular activity so for that mrna is needed so that's why in indirectly we can say the process of transcription is needed to synthesize mrna so that from mrna the protein synthesis can take place which is known as translation we will be discussing about the transcription in prokaryotes only we will be specific to that in this video in the upcoming video we will be discussing about transcription in eukaryote and then we will be discussing about the translation okay so the process of transcription in case of prokaryotes takes place in the nucleus this is very important to be noted down the location of each is very important okay so the process of replication uh, transcription takes place in the nucleus and what is transcription is a process in which synthesis of mrna takes place from the dna and very much important is that for the process of transcription to occur a very important enzyme is essential that is known as the rna polymerase in the dna replication you have studied that for the process of re replication to occur dna polymerase was required but for this transcription process rna polymerase is essential okay this is important to be noted down next as you all know that the bacterial dna is circular in nature okay and the synthesis of the transcription takes place in the 5 prime to 3 prime direction as the replication was also taking place in the 5 prime to 3 prime direction transcription also takes place in the 5 prime to 3 prime direction this is important then how the rna polymerase work it mainly work by forming a nucleophilic attack on the 3 prime oh end of the rna and form a complementary strand with that of the dna and the what are the processes involved we will be discussing in detail don't worry before that we will be studying that what are the genes or what are the sequence that are involved in the process of transcription there are three sequence which are involved in the process of transcription this is a gene if you see this is totally a gene okay one second okay this whole structure is a gene so the gene sequence gene consist of three sequence one is the promoter sequence second is the coding rna coding sequence and third is the terminator sequence so the gene consist of three sequence one is the what one is the promoter rna coding sequence and terminator what is the work of the promoter so in promoter region the rna polymerase will bind and from the initiation site you can see from the initiation site the process of transcription will begin so the promoter region is mainly important for the binding of the rna polymerase and the rna coding sequence is the sequence where the process of transcription will take place they will take part in the process of transcription and as i've all as you know already the terminator sequence is to stop the process of transcription okay and two more important thing to be noted down for the process of transcription is what is downstream and what is upstream so from the initiation site if we move in the right hand direction the site is known as the downstream if you move this side is known as downstream and initiation site in uh, opposite direction is known as the upstream so this two needed to be very clear because this is important in the next part okay so this is the overview of transcription what are the sequences present 
next coming to the first sequence is the promoter region so the promoter region is present upstream sequence that codes for the rna you can see this is the rna sequence so rna sequence towards the upstream means this side the promoter sequence is present okay downstream means this side okay upstream means this side so from the uh, rna coding sequence to the upstream region the promoter sequence is present okay and as i have already told you it is the site for the interaction of the rna polymerase the rna polymerase binding will take place in this region and this region gives the location and direction to the transcription so this is the main site which will give the direction to the rna polymerase to move forward and here it will direct that you come and bind here and the process of transcription will begin from the initiation site one more important thing is that the promoter region this is the you, you have seen this is the promoter region the promoter region consists of three important sequences one is the minus 35 sequence next is the minus 10 sequence and then is the start point or the single base so you have seen here this is the start point or the initiation site from the initiation site all the towards the upstream Oh, very okay towards the upstream to from the initiation site that is a prenop box is present and to from the prenop box okay prenop box will be present from prenop box up, upstream that is minus 35 sequence will be present the minus 35 sequence is mainly rich in the a a c t g so this is very important to be remembered okay so the minus 35 sequence is rich in a a c t g and the gap between the minus 35 to minus 10 sequence is 17 base pair and at the minus 10 sequence a prenop box is present which is also known as the tata box okay tata box is uh, responsible for the recognition of the rna polymerase and the rna polymerase will come and bind here in this tata box okay this is very important the tata box uh, in this tata box the rna polymerase will bind and as the gradually you can see here the starting point and the direction of transcription as the rna polymerase gradually moves in this direction when it will reach this start point the process of transcription will begin so the tata box is responsible for the recognition of the or binding of the rna polymerase this is all important sequences which are present in the promoter region that is minus 35 re sequence which is rich in aactg and prenop box which is known as tata box aatt sequence at rich sequence you can also say and third is the single base or you can say start point these three are important promoter region then comes the most important or you can say the hero of the transcription process that is the rna polymerase because without rna polymerase the process of transcription is totally incomplete so the synthesis of rna from one strand of the double stranded as you know the double stranded dna will act as a template or as a sample from that sample the rna will be formed okay synthesis of rna that is single stranded rna will be formed one more important thing is that the rna polymerase consists of a hollow enzyme what is a hollow enzyme hollow enzyme it consists of one core enzyme plus certain enzyme like the 2 alpha you can see alpha 1 alpha 2 okay 2 alpha next beta prime beta 2 beta and 1 omega this all forms the what hollow enzyme and one sigma factor this is the main factor for the initiation of the transcription process so sigma factor confers the promoter binding and specificity this is very very important so the rna polymerase consists of five ho sequence hollow enzyme that is two alpha two beta omega and a sigma okay the sigma factor what is the main role of the sigma factor the main role of the sigma factor is to confer what is meaning of confer is to see that the promoter site proper the binding of the rna takes place in the promoter site so for the binding of the promoter in the sorry binding of the rna polymerase in the promoter site is mainly done by this sigma factor and in e coli sigma 70 rna polymerase b is mainly known as the initiation point so it allows the correct binding so uh, sigma factor allows the correct binding 
and of the transcription and initiation. This is very important factor, sigma factor, which plays important role for correct binding to the promoter sequence as well as for the initiation of the promoter sequence. Okay. Apart from the RNA polymerase, magnesium ion also plays an important role. It assists or it helps the RNA polymerase in their catalytic property for the process of transcription. So, I have told you that the core enzymes, there are four core enzymes that is 2 alpha, okay, 2 alpha, 2 beta and 1 omega. What is hollow enzyme? Sigma plus this core enzyme is known as hollow enzyme. This is very, very important and the sigma is very much important because it plays important role in the process of transcription, okay, for the initiation purpose. Now, this table is most important table because it is given that what are the subunits, what are the genes which uh, uh, regulate this subunit and what are the function of each subunit and this is very much asked in exam. Okay, so mainly this table is very important for exam, so do go through it once. Okay, first coming to the alpha subunit. Okay. As we know that there are two alpha subunits. So, the alpha 2 alpha subunits are mainly regulated by the gene that is RPOA gene. Okay. RPO gene and what is the function of alpha gene? It is responsible for core enzyme assembly and promoter recognition. What is core enzyme? As, as I have already told you, 2 alpha, 2 beta and omega. So, for the assembly or for the binding of the core enzyme, this alpha is responsible as well as it recognizes the promoter sequence. Very much important. Next, what is the role of beta? Beta, that is only simple beta. Beta is regulated by RPOB. It has the catalytic property and beta prime is regulated by RPOC. It also has a catalytic property. So, so you can summarize that both the beta have the catalytic property. Omega, it uh, regulated by the gene RPOZ. It is responsible for the assembly of the RNA polymerase. Okay. And sigma, as I have already told you, it is regulated by RPOD gene and it is responsible for promoter recognition and transcription initiation. No doubt the alpha is also responsible for promoter recognition, but the main role is performed by this sigma factor. Okay, which regulates or which recognizes the promoter sequence and it will immediately make the RNA polymerase bind to the promoter sequence and the process of transcription will take place. You can see in this diagram, this is the IMR, uh, you can say the DNA. Okay, wait one second. Okay, okay. Here the RNA polymerase bind, okay, and the sigma factor will make this RNA polymerase bind. This is RNA polymerase, sigma factor will make the RNA polymerase bind to the promoter sequence. And when the promoter, when this RNA polymerase will come to the start point, then the process of transcription will take place in the 5 prime to 3 prime direction. And when they reach the terminator sequence, the, pro the RNA polymerase will be released and the termination will be performed. Okay. This is the overall process I have told you. But how does each step occur? We will be discussing each one in detail. Okay. As you all know that the, for the process of transcription, three important steps are necessary. One is initiation, elongation and termination. Before this three process, there is very much important for the engagement of promoter region. Okay. Otherwise, the inhibitor will come and bind and no transcription process will take place as you see, as you have seen in the lac operon. Uh, we will be discussing about the lac operon later on. But before that, what is needed is the engagement of the promoter region. Engagement of the promoter region means that the RNA polymerase must be binding to the prom promoter region that is between the 10 minus 10 to minus 35 region which I have already shown you in the last uh, few slides and proper binding of the RNA polymerase between these two regions should be made okay and the initiation process will start okay. So what happens the sigma factor what will do it will bind the RNA polymerase to the minus 35 sequence okay it will make the RNA polymerase bind to the sigma uh, to the minus 35 sequence as the uh, sigma factor will bind to the sequence the rna polymerase forms a closed complex okay the closed complex means it will close the complex okay and 
a close promoter region will be formed but for the process of transcription to occur and this region need to be open okay so that the promoter complex needed to be open so that the process of transcription can takes place for that what happened the rna polymerase bind to the minus 10 sequence and placed in a position to start the uh, process of transcription then what will happen a holo enzyme that is what is a holo enzyme i have already told you sigma plus core enzyme the sigma plus core enzyme what they both will do they will start opening the strand okay they will start opening this complex first they will be forming a closed complex then will start for opening the complex as a result of which the process of transcription will begin initially uh, the transcription process only abruptive initiation process takes place means the the in, uh, new strands will be forming and it will be getting degraded for the after proper 10 nucleotide strands are formed once 10 nucleotides rna are formed it uh, interaction with the promoter region is stopped and then the sigma factor will be released okay again i am trying to explain you one more time what will happen the sigma factor will make the rna polymerase bind to the minus 35 element then gradually when they move to the minus 10 element they will form a close complex form okay the sigma factor along with all the core enzyme it will form a close com compact structure okay com uh, that is closed promoter region you can say but for the process of transcription to takes place the promoter sequence need to be open which is done by the holo enzyme initially first transcription is mainly abruptive abruptive means the strands will be forming and it will be getting degraded after proper 10 nucleotide strands formed the sigma factor is released why the sigma factor is released because the sigma factor is only needed for the binding of the recognition of the rna polymerase to that of the promoter sequence and initiation of the from uh, initiation of transcription once it is done there is no more need of the uh, that is uh, sigma factor so it is released then the elongation process takes place the release of sigma factor and the growing of the start you can see here the strand first it was binding here then gradually it will elongate and the process of transcription takes place once they reach the termination end you can see the termination once they reach the termination end what will happen the process the rna polymerase will be released and the process will be stopped but the termination process is takes place by two method one is the ro ro dependent method another one is the ro independent method or you can say gc termination method what will happen or you can say it is known as intrinsic termination ro method ro dependent method ro is an enzyme it will come and bind to this rna polymerase as a result of which it pushes the rna polymerase and will release the rna polymerase from the from this strand okay it will pushes the polymerase and uh, result in the termination and pull out the rna from the polymerase it will remove this polymerase from this strand so this is the role of the role of the ro factor then what what is another type of termination is the intrinsic termination in which the you can see this strand also contains the gc sequence so once they reach the gc sequence they will form a hairpin loop like structure like this a loop like structure will be formed so that further movement of the rna polymerase will not take place as a result of which that means what will happen this strand contain the g sequence and this strand comes the g sequence so when they come to the gc sequence that is guanine and cytosine sequence they will form bond with each other as a result of which they will form like this bond with each other as a result of which a looping will take place and the real, and no further movement of rna polymerase takes place and the rna polymerase will be removed in this manner the process of termination takes place and the transcription of the prokaryote is complete okay this is all about the transcription in the prokaryotes okay so hope you understood this one if you have any doubt regarding this you can ask in the comment section and do share among your friends as much as you can and subscribe to my channel and one more important thing these are very basic things to be understood okay that is uh, transcription translation dna replication it may it might be seeming easy but when it is asked in the exam it is very confusing okay so uh, what are the enzymes and all it will be seeming easy but when will you do questions related to that it will be confusing so you need to be very much clear with the basic what are the enzymes what are the role of it 
it is needed to be cleared very properly. So in the next part of the video, we will be discussing about the transcription in eukaryotes. Okay. So before that, you need to, if you uh, have no idea what is mRNA, what is tRNA, what is all that, you need to watch the previous video which I have made regarding the structure of RNA. So do watch that and then do watch this video for the better understanding. So that's all for today. Thank you and have a nice day.